What's going on, everybody? It's your girl, Vina. And it's your boy, Groove. And we are back with another lit video. So as you guys all know, it's Valentine's Day. And we figured, why not drop a special edition cooking segment for all my lovebirds that want to spend this amazing, beautiful day in the comfort of their lovely home? Now, fellas, I know if you tired of going to these restaurants... And eating the same plain old food, they ain't nothing like a home-cooked meal. Cook for your ladies, get down and dirty in the kitchen, and get right. That's the way the woman taught. Yes, yes. So if you want to see how we whipped up this wonderful entree, then keep on watching. Uh, uh, Mr. These wings look finger look for our Valentine's Day, we decided to go with the unordinary lemon pepper chicken. And guys, we love lemon pepper chicken. And the reason being is because lemon pepper chicken is not something that you eat every day. And it's not something that goes well with everything. And guys, Zaza loves lemon pepper chicken. And his dad loves lemon pepper chicken too. So hey, we went with the lemon pepper chicken for this special day. A little pinch of this. A little pinch of that. Uh-huh. Don't be cheap with it, but you gotta pinch. And then you just trip it all over those wings. Don't that look scrumptious? You don't want no ashy wings, so you gotta grease them up. Voila! Bon appétit! So now we're just taking out our steaks and we like to cook our steaks in the oven. <laughs> yes. Keep that juice, you know, still marinating the steaks. While and steaks apart and then we just saute them on the grill with some vegetables onions a little bit of tomatoes And it's always best to use fresh vegetables for things like this because it just gives the food much more rich care. flavor. Yeah, the flavor is so much more richer. Now we're creating our empanadas and for these empanadas we had to lay some flour down because the dough was sticking. And as you see, you just want to press the sides down with a fork, nice and smooth so that when they are boiling in the oil they don't open up we want to fry these things into they're nice and golden brown not too dark not too light and now for our side of pico de gallo 
so here we have some chopped up tomatoes and onions and we're just going to quickly shift that into a larger bowl so that we can add our other ingredients and pico de gallo is one of the uh it's a hispanic dish right yeah Yep, a Hispanic dish where you just add some simple ingredients like um, you'll see here we're going to be putting in some lemon juice. You can use lemon or lime, some salt. Now, preferably, you can use cilantro or parsley. Cilantro is just a different type of parsley. It's like the Spanish parsley. And we're just gonna mix that all together. Now, it may not look like it, but this pico de gallo is amazing. So now the empanadas are ready to flip. So nice and golden brown, like that, I said. Right. Once that's done, we're just going to take it out of the oil and drain it. Don't forget to put your sides, sour cream, and the pico de gallo. So here we have our own version of Spanish rice, as you may call it. What is it called? Arroz con dulas. Mouth watering yet? Yeah, boy. Finger looking good, right? And there you have it, our Valentine's Day dinner. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. We enjoyed filming it, right, Groove? Definitely did. We had a, a very exciting time cooking. Ain't nothing like cooking with a loved one. All right, so if you guys love this cooking segment, make sure that you guys give us a thumbs up. And if you aren't subscribed yet, make sure you do hit that subscribe button. And if you want to see when we're posting our next video, make sure you guys put on those post notifications. We appreciate you guys tuning into our video. And happy Valentine's Day. Thank you for watching. Love you guys.